Okay, we're here talking about backwood smokers. This model right here is the competitor. Now this is getting into the big boys, the backwoods line. Um, I cook on one of these, this is what's on my barbecue trailer. Backwoods, once again, has made one of the best cookers out on the market. It's a water cooker, um, it's insulated, dual wall design. It's made to where when you want this dial to set 225, it'll sit there for eight, 10 hours. You don't have to add any more coals or anything. Uh, the unique thing about these backwoods is the fact that it has a water fan. It makes for a moist cooking environment and it controls the heat. That's the two things about the water smokers that are most crucial. Um, on the backwoods, you can see it's a separate fire compartment. That's where everything, uh, all your hot coals go. The competitor has a beefed up, heavy duty fire grate. Thing will last for years. Um, right above it, you'll notice the deflector shield. That is, it's kind of a heat sink to keep an even temperature on the water pan to where you're not just boiling water out. Bo water's boiling, or whatever you're putting in there is boiling at 212 degrees. The heat shield's gonna hold it right below it because of that three quarter inch air gap between the shield and the pan. Um, that produces the steam and what makes this moist cooking environment work. Uh, you wanna explain a little bit about the, how the air flows through it, Mark? Yep, the airflow comes in on the bottom. On the, the firebox there are two slides on the bottom that controls the specific amount of air needed to maintain a perfect fire. Now, that fire holds its temperature. The heat sink helps regulate the temperature as well. But all this heat and smoke travels around this water pan into a double wall that's insulated by two inches of insulation on the outside. And it travels to the very top as it's going along, it gives you radiant heat from the sides and from the back. So that's for consistent heat top to bottom. Everything enters the cook chamber through a small gap in the top wall, and it flows by downdraft past every rack before it can exit that small series of holes in the very bottom. That's the entrance for the internal chimney. It, everything enters there and then flows all the way up to this, this top uh, exit here at the top. The cool thing about this is this long internal chimney provides a lot of air draw to suck that air in at the bottom. So maintaining a really good fire is very easy in these cookers. Uh, back to the, come out with a new powder coating system for their paint job on the outside of these smokers. It's, it's kind of a, almost scratch proof, weather proof. It's not gonna rust. It really changed the look on these in the, in the years that it's gonna last. Uh, this competitor is probably it's one of the best commercial grade size competitor competition cookers I think there is. That's why I cook on one. Mark's had one for years. Um, you see it has multiple racks, multiple configurations. You can get a ton of meat on one of these. For competition use, it is probably the best all around cooker that Backwoods makes. Portability, it's easy to move it around on a two wheeler. If you want to mount it on a trailer, it works very well. But as far as size to weight ratio and capacity, all around one of the best cookers out there. One thing I did with mine is I bought casters and put on the bottom of it. It really makes for moving it around on the trailer easy. Um, you, I think that's an optional accessory you can probably get, but Definitely. it was easy for me to go buy them myself. And the bottom skids on these, all the backwoods, they already have holes uh, tapped for mounting casters on them. So it's no problem to do that if portability is an issue. But uh, you don't want to pick it up and run with it. It's a, it's a, this cooker weighs uh, probably 350 pounds. Right. It's not uh, it's not light, so um, it's balanced. You don't have to worry about it tipping over or anything, and they flat cook. I mean, this is this is probably my favorite backwoods model there is a competitor. It was my first backwoods that I ever had, actually. Um, one because of its capacity. We like to cook whole shoulders, and this is what we first started cooking shoulders on. It'll hold eight whole shoulders at max capacity. It'll hold 32 slabs of loin back ribs at max capacity. Uh, it'll hold roughly, I'm going to say, based on size, but it'll hold you know, about eight briskets at max capacity as well. Um, you can do every category with KCBS that you want on this. And, every, and more. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really a lot of capacity for your money. Yep. Well, that's, this is the Backwoods Competitor. If you have any questions about the Competitor model or any of the Backwoods model, Visit my website, howtobbqright.com, or email me at malcolmkillerhogs.com. Mark also has it on his website. It's uh, www.ssomd.com. We're both available anytime to talk about and give you all the information that we have on Backwoods products. So give us a shout if you need help getting into one of these.